Hey everyone, it's Missy here from the Joy Fed Off. Happy Friday. Listen, this is probably the easiest card or cards that you could ever make in your life, and you only need four things card stock, adhesive, washi tape, stickers. And you don't even really need the washi tape. So yeah, so I am on this quest to be zero zero um, waste crafting as much as possible. And I bought this big old bag of foam hearts, not realizing just how big it was. So my goal this year is to add a foam heart <laughs> where I can, if the card calls for it. So in this one, we're using them to make two different backgrounds. And I love how these cards turned out. I think they're so much fun. So yeah, so if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. We're gonna get to 14K. We're gonna get to 14K by the end of February. I would like to get to 20K by the end of December. I would like to just share card making and all of the joy that it brings with everybody in the world. Um, so we're going worldwide, baby. <laughs> anyway, there's a link to my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing cards. Um, I think that's it. So yeah, happy Friday. I will have a card for you on Monday. We're going to use Hello Bluebird and some little critters. And then Wednesday, I don't know what that video is yet. Um, I think I said on Monday I'd already filmed it. That was a lie. <laughs> that was a miss. I misspoke. But I will have a video for you Wednesday. Um, and yeah, so let's head over to the craft table and we'll get started. All right, friends, in today's video, I am making two cards using washi tape and these foam heart stickers. And I'm going to be going ahead and using the tags from Echo Park that I used last week. So I bought, I think I bought these hearts for like a photo background or something. I don't remember, but I bought them and I have this huge bag. So I thought, you know what, let's use some of them. So I'm cutting these card panels down to three by four. Um, I want them to not be huge on the card because one of the main um, focal points will be the um, heart. Um, that was my diet root beer, by the way. <laughs> so I'm using washi tape. I'm starting on the diagonal, and ugh, I don't know what it was. This washi tape wasn't bad, but the other washi tape I used, it. that's why there's so many jump cuts right here is because it took forever to get the washi off the row. Oh my gosh, it was awful. It's more, it's worse on the other card that you're going to see me make. But yeah, this washi would not cooperate. So yeah. But if you're like me and you were in the planner community back in the day, I mean, I started doing planner videos in 2015. I, I, there's washi in the house. <laughs> there's washi in the house. And I did pick up this one washi um, when I placed my order from a cherry on top. So yeah, there's washi, there's washi in the house. And it's, it normally it's easy to work with and it's a fun way to use it up because a roll, unless you're using it actively, will probably last you your life, your whole entire life. And you guys see me use like patterns I don't like as um, tape to hold down my dies and stuff. There's a look at the Triceratops from Wednesdays when I was talking about how I did turquoise and red and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. So I'm just cutting off some of the excess and the rest of it is being folded on the back, adhered on the back, I should say. I decided to go ahead and do black panels. So these measure four and a quarter by five and a half. They're going to go on the front of a white piece of paper. Um, since I want these to be portrait cards, meaning they're going to open top to bottom um, rather than like, side, like a landscape card that's side to side. I'm going to go ahead and do a card base later. So I'm just playing with the position of the hearts. Now there's like it's in the there's no reason to put hearts in the middle because you're not going to see them. Um, but I was trying to figure out what colors I wanted to use if I wanted to do a specific pattern, and then I was like, "Missy, you're not going to see it." Doesn't matter. <laughs> so, and you could take this kind of technique if you want to call it that, and do this and make any kind of card. Like if you have like just some random patterns of washi. Rather than specific holiday washi, you can do this for birthdays. You can do whatever you want to do because you can find all sorts of foam stickers, um, dinosaurs and birthday cake. You can do it with confetti. So this would be really fun to do um, for other for other reasons other than just Valentine's Day. But like I said, I have this huge bag of hearts. It will last me until I die. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably have to make a thousand cards to use up all these hearts for sure. So I'm just peeling the backer off and just placing them wherever I think they should go. Um, trying to not put like by like, but at the end, I'm just like, okay, let's, we're running out of space. We're running out of colors. They may have to overlap a little bit. 
So to adhere this panel, I'm going to bring in some of the Scotch adhesive um, roll of tape because you're going to need something that is, and I just, I cut that um, heart in half because I wanted to make sure that there was equal kind of backing supporting this panel so it doesn't like dip in the middle. So anyway, you're going to want something that's going to be really sticky. You're not going to want to do this with liquid glue because you will get the liquid glue on the foam hearts and it will not come off. And then you will be very sad. Ask me how I know. Okay, so when I am making more than one card, I go ahead and square my cardstock first and then I go ahead and cut it. So again, I'm cutting this portrait. So it's four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half. This piece of paper measures four and a half, but four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's going to fill the entirety of the card front. I'm just trying to get it straight because you guys know me, crooked as a jaybird. I don't think there's anything I touch that doesn't turn out a little bit crooked. <laughs> Oof, Lord. Okay, so I at first I was gonna leave it like this. I was like, no, you know what? Let's let's use some more of these kind of tags. And I loved this kind of this one. This is A B C D I Love You. Um, I'm cutting off the sides and I'm gonna bring in the hole punch and put the hole in it. And then instead of metallic thread, I'm just gonna bring in some regular embroidery floss and um gonna unravel it like I did last time, put it through the tag like I did last time. So this is all rinse and repeat. But again, I want to use up stuff that I have. And yeah, I'm thinking that I'm, a couple of things. I'm considering bringing back Crafty Roulette. Now, I know that Mary Gunn has Craft Roulette, but that's completely different from what I was doing. And we started around the exact same time. So hers is more kind of like how to like something to like to get your creative juices flowing, like technique and stuff. Mine is using my own stuff. Um, I, I want to use, I want to touch every single stamp set that I own at least once in 2024. And I want to use every single paper pad at least once in 2024. And I thought that Crafty Roulette would be a fun way to do that. So if you're, you're like, Misty, what is that? I took all of my supplies. So my stamps, my dies, my stencils, put them in roulette wheels and then added a technique. And whatever I got was what I got. I think the hardest one is when I had the brown, like the um, sepia toned uh, snowman. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? So yeah, I believe I have a whole, a whole playlist of that um, on the channel. So if you're interested in that, just let me know. But I thought it would be fine. I'll probably do it like once, maybe twice a month. Um, and again, it, it ha it's I didn't steal her idea. We we are we started about the exact same time, and her idea is for anybody. You know, it's just to kind of give you some ideas. And mine is to specifically use my own stash. So, and I haven't done hers uh, just because I I literally only craft for when I'm making a video. Um, just because I try to save all of my, all of my effort <laughs> and all of my energy for that. So number two, we went by pretty fast, but it's more of a monochromatic card. And I loved this, um, this card that says you have my whole heart for my whole life. I'm going to add a couple of um, hearts and that's it, friends. Super quick, simple, easy, using some leftovers that I will probably never use up in my life. I'm going to trash that washi tape though. It was awful. So that's it, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you. Um, if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know um, what you think about Crafty Roulette. And if you're new here, make sure you say hi. All right, friends, I will see you Monday for another video. Bye for now. <music>